Hi everyone this is Kalyan Kumar this side and welcome to another video on IUPAC nomenclature and in this video we are going to talk about spiro compounds so we need to understand what spiro compounds are so let's try and figure out what these are spiro compounds are basically rings which are joined by one common atom the rings could be of the same size could be of a different size but they have one atom common that's it when only one atom is common we call this compound as a spiro compound now to get back to the definition something like this see one atom common here spiro ring systems have two or more rings linked by one common atom and the naming of this is sort of uh similar to the 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 the, the bicyclic compound that we did in the previous video at the same time there's a bit of a difference the point is that here when we name this uh, similar to the bicyclic compound we have to write the total number of carbon atoms here as you can see one ring is 5 the other is 4 but one com one atom is common so that makes it 3 so there are 8 it's an octane and we begin this by the word spiro and i'm talking about the parent name and what happens inside the bracket this is where things differ in the previous case that is the bicyclo case we wrote the number of atoms between this spiro atom on both ends of the rings in the decreasing order now we are going to do it on the increasing order so to to name a spiro alkane follow the following steps count the total number of carbons in the entire molecule this is the parent name example 10 carbons would obviously mean a decane count the number of carbon atoms linked to the spiral atom in each ring in ascending order separated by a comma and of course we use square brackets and if any prefixes occur that that happens before this place the word spiro at the beginning of the name so i want you to name this one pause the video name it and try to check whether your answer is correct or not now obviously on this side i got 3 on this side i got 4 so it's spiro 3 4 and the total number is 8 so spiro 3 4 octane try naming this one one two three four one two three four doesn't matter total number of atoms are nine so nonane spiro 4 4 nonane try this one i got 1 2 3 4 1 sorry so it's 4 5 and there are 10 of them decane spiro 4 5 decane now how do we do the numbering now the numbering is very crucial here we must understand how the numbering is done the numbering is done in the following way suppose i have let's say a five member ring a six member ring we must always start with i mean this is the spiro atom right always start from 
the adjacent atom to the spiro atom from the ring which has smaller number of carbon atoms or lesser number of carbon atoms that means i'm going to call this as one this or perhaps this the atom adjacent to the spiro atom has to be one and that ring has to be one which has lesser number of carbon atoms then move in that order if suppose this is one this is two this is three this is four and then you number the spiro atom five now can you see i moved anti clockwise here i have to do the same now even in the other ring it has to be anti clockwise here so this is five this is six seven eight nine ten The rules for numbering the rings in these bicyclic compounds are as follows. Start numbering starting in the smaller ring at an atom next to the spiro atom. Proceed around the smaller ring back to the spiro atom and then round the second ring. If one ring is numbered clockwise then so should the other ring be. Try numbering this one. now this is the spiro atom so one has to be adjacent to that in the smaller ring 1 2 3 and take clockwise 5 6 7 this is the way the numbering is done so what is the name name of course is pretty simple it's an octane and it is 3 4 spiro 3 4 octane try naming this compound now comes the crucial question which is one this is the spiro atom now suppose i take this as one 2 3 4 Five. Then obviously this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you see that my substituent is getting the largest number ten? Try the other way around. This is the spiro atom. One, two, three, four, five. Since this is clockwise, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, I get it at six. So the numbering is done this way: two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what is the name? It's 6-methyl spiro. One, two, three, four, four. Five decane. Six methyl spiro four five decane, and all other rules remain the same as for bicyclic systems. So we are going to do a couple of examples and see if you are able to follow these rules. So I'm going to put functional groups. I'm going to make things complicated. Pause the video, name it, and then play it back. Which is one. Well, not on this ring. I'm going to make one on this ring because I want to give this carbon the lowest number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Of course, I could have started even with this as one. And it's a ring system. It's a carbaldehyde. Present at two. So it's spiro three three heptane two carbaldehyde. Try this. Obviously, the the atom containing the OH has to be one. So what would you call it? Spiro three three 
हेप्टेन वन ऑल और वन हेप्टेन ऑल एंड नाउ वी गो फॉर समथिंग विच इज वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड वाओ लॉट्स ऑफ दम लॉट्स ऑफ सब्सिटेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑलवेज नेम द पेरेंट द पेरेंट इज द की हियर नाउ दिस इज द स्पाइरो थिंग फिगर एवरीथिंग एल्स दिस इज द स्पाइरो थिंग दिस इज वेयर इट्स गोइंग टू एंड so now the question is numbering and we remember have to start with the smaller ring and the smaller ring and then you have lot of substituents this is one so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 write the name of the parent which is spiro uh 1 2 3 4 4 1 2 3 4 5 4 5 decan spiro 4 5 decan and then now you have all the prefixes and these and the substituents sitting everywhere you got a methyl here you got an isobutyl here you got a ethyl and a methyl here you got and ethyl here you got another isobutyl here this one is interesting what would you call this one you have an isopropyl group here you have an ethyl here you got two methyls here so you got lots of substituents so it's 179 triethyl 29 diisobutyl 8 isopropyl 1366 tetramethyl spiro 45 decan let's get some functional groups now numbering try to give the functional of the lowest number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 we need to give the carboxylic acid the lower value and the carboxylic acid that's the way it's going to end the carboxylic acid so you're going to have uh, eight hydroxy and blah 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 all the parent in the end you have six carboxylic acid so eight hydroxy spiro 3 4 octane six carboxylic acid one more ha ah, we have an amide you have OH you have NH2 and we know carboxamide is how it's going to end and the question is which is going to be given one obviously the one containing the principal functional group that's this amide fellow here so this is 1 2 3 4 5 5 and then um, uh, this is going to be what 5 amino Two, four, dihydroxy, spiral. Uh, two, two, and how many do we have? Pentane, one, carboxamide. And to top it all, since this is the last video on the IUPAC system. i would like to have uh, probably one of the most complicated molecules that we could have had in this entire video series so i'm going to have it right now here it's going to take lots of time for you to to write the name take your time it's not important how fast you do what is important is how correctly you do it don't get scared the big one lots of double bonds in the rings itself so how are we going to tackle this uh, that's the important question first let's look at the parent this is the parent okay all right now once we get the parents here <coughs> now let's figure out the numbering we started with the smaller one 
and we need to give this fellow as number one because we want to give the double bond and the functional group the lowest number rather than giving this as one because an acid chloride has a higher preference to an aldehyde. So, numbering. Once the numbering is done, things are going to be pretty simple. But again, first name the parent. It's 16. And I hope you understand what is 16. It's hexadeca. And there are so many double bonds. So basically, the parent is going to look like spiro. Uh, how many atoms do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, nine. Okay. So spiral. Six, nine. And how many total? Hexa. And since there are a lot of double bonds here, hexa, deca. And where all do you have the double bonds? Two. Um, 8, 11, 15, tetraene, and of course, after that, then you're going to have some more, uh, I think you have an acid here, so it's going to end with carboxylic acid, so that is going to be 14, and perhaps one more, Carboxylic acid even sitting at 8. 8, 14, di, carboxylic acid, and then all the prefixes. So this is the huge name. Take your time. 4 amino, 11 carbamoyl, 3 chloro, 2 chlorocarbonyl, 9 cyano, 5 formyl. In fact, the 5 formal, you can even call it oxo. So, 5 formal, 4 hydroxy, 13 methoxy, 12 methoxy carbonyl, 10 oxo spiro 6, 9, hexadega 2, 8, 11, 15, tetraene 8, 14, dicarboxylic acid. Huge, huge name. Take your time and you'll be able to figure this out. I hope this video helps you in understanding how to do the basic nomenclature of spiro compounds. If there is any doubts, any, any, anything that you want to ask, please drop in uh, these at the comment section below. And I hope you were able to use this video to your advantage. Thank you for watching the video.